Well, happy December 6th, 2022, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. We're back into the studio today with an unbelievable 1985 lens. Hello, everyone. Carmine from New York here, professional photojournalist for 50 years, giving you all the knowledge I have about photography on over 195 episodes of this channel. And don't forget, we're coming up to episode 200, a big milestone. And you guys should be subscribed to this channel because on the 200th episode, it's going to be very special. Just go right over here. You'll see a red box. Press it. That's the subscribe button. Thumbs up, please, if you wouldn't mind. Comment below and email me any photographic question. Black and white photo at AOL.com. All right, let's dig in, guys. You're not going to believe what I have in my hands. Let me take it off this Sony A390. Guys, today, I must tell you with examples throughout this video, I will show you examples of the photos I took with this lens. First, let me describe the lens. Look at this lens. Guys, this is the Minolta 50 millimeter auto focus F 1.7 lens. Let me see if I can get the aperture open for you guys. It's pretty, the pin is pretty hidden in there, but I can get it for you guys because that's what I do. Look at that. Look at that beautiful F1.7 lens made by Minolta. Guys, as everybody knows, Minolta in 2006, May 31st to be exact, Minolta was purchased by Sony. This mount is known as the Sony A mount, the Minolta A mount, or the Sony Minolta A mount. <laughs> Guys, it fits the first type of Sony digital cameras. For example, this is the A390. This is the gorgeous, let me get my notes right here, guys. It's the 14 megapixel APS-C sensor, but it's not just any 14 megapixel sensor. Guys, this is the CCD film-like sensor. On this Sony digital camera. Let me mount the lens back onto the Sony. Okay. Beautiful. Guys, I am bringing out this beautiful Prime Nifty 50 on this APS-C sensor today to show you guys these photographs. I took these photographs just today. I went back to Brooklyn. You guys know the story. I've got a friend who needs to go to Brooklyn every once in a while. And I'm his chauffeur because we've been friends for 60 years. All right. Now, a few things about this lens. This lens that you're going to look at examples of all spaced out through this video. This lens came out in 1985. Right now, you can purchase them all day long, mint condition, for about 50 US dollars. Mint condition. We're talking minty, minty condition. No haze, no fungus, no scratches, no oil on the aperture blades. Autofocus auto works perfectly. Okay. 1985, this came out, guys, and it's still going strong. Uh, Let's keep going. 49 millimeter filters. Okay. 49 millimeter filters fit 
perfectly on the front of the lens. And as you guys, as you, as my subscribers know, I put a filter on every single lens that I own to protect it. Here's why. I gave a couple of examples uh, through the episodes. I did a photo shoot in Lower Manhattan and I got smushed where somebody pushed me out of the way by pushing the camera into my face. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about me, if you know what I mean. His fingers were all on the filter. Okay, filthy, filthy fingerprints all over the filter. Now, what if I didn't have a filter on? His dirty, filthy fingerprints and maybe scratchy nails would have scratched my front element. Okay, well worth to put a filter on every single lens, even if they're 1985 Minolta's. All right. So let's get back to it. This is what you see here, a great representation of the marriage between Sony and Minolta. Where's the logo? Right there, the Minolta logo. On May 31st of 2006, Sony purchased the entire Minolta company, okay? It's when Sony was getting into photography, cameras, okay? They knew the Minolta was around for a long time in the film photography business. So they just went right in. Sony developed the digital camera and made the mount to match all of the current production at the time for the Minolta mount, now known as the Sony A mount. You can still buy these Sony A mount lenses all day long. Okay. Now this camera that you go that you've been looking at examples of, right, of street photographs that I took in Brooklyn today. Okay. Okay. This camera uh, sells for about about a hundred and fifty dollars on eBay in. <laughs> The Yorkies, I'll show you their picture. It sells for about $150 on eBay. And it comes with a lens. It won't come with this prime lens, but it'll come with like a, a small zoom, you know, a 14 to 55 type uh, zoom lens, but it'll come with a lens for $150. Don't forget the A390 has a nice sliding door for your SD card. Okay, the battery, the battery could be a little bit uh, bigger. All right, but I've had no problems. I've had no problems shooting with the battery. This is a uh, off brand, this is a Castar one, but my favorite brand of battery is Wasabi. Okay, Wasabi, if you have your choice, if you're buying aftermarket digital camera batteries, I've been doing this for 50 years, buy Wasabi brand. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, the photos that you've been seeing and we'll see more of were shot on this camera with this lens today in Brooklyn. Now, today is December the 6th. Rainy very overcast, zero sunshine, okay? Horrible, overcast, rainy, drizzly day. What am I getting at? I shot all the photographs you're looking at now, 3200 ISO. That's the max ISO for this camera. Is there digital grain? Oh yeah. However, let's pay attention. The CCD film-like sensor matched with the high ISO that I shot, 3200, that's the max, gave the most beautiful film reminiscent 
photographs ever. Even look at the, I have like, I think one black and white picture or a few black and whites, whatever. They're being all dispersed now through this video. Okay. Uh, guys, this is the answer to the opposite of a film camera, meaning you get all the benefits of a film photograph, right? A little grain, right? The contrast without buying the film being limited to 36 frames or 24 frames, getting the film developed, getting the film scanned, waiting all that time for it to come in the mail or on, on an email so you can finally look at your photographs, and no dust or scratches on the negatives because this is a digital camera. So now, do I still shoot film? Of course I still shoot film. But for everybody out there, that wants the best of both worlds to have photographs that look like film. Black and white or color film. I highly recommend the Sony Alpha, right? The A390. Look at this footprint in your hand. Look at this. The grip. The grip is awesome. My hands are gigantic. I'm six foot two. This fits my hand perfectly. It's nice and light. It is wonderful. It even has a tilty screen. Okay. Tilty screen up and down. Okay. So for 150 bucks includes a lens, not this lens, right? Plus you can buy this lens. This is the prime 50 millimeter Minolta. Autofocus, right? Maxim. Okay, get that for 50 bucks. Comes with a battery usually when you buy a camera on eBay and a charger. You throw in an SD card, you're good to go. Shoot all day long. Now, do I recommend getting extra batteries? Yes. I recommend carrying more than one SD card around with you? Yes. <laughs> okay, but the, what's the point of today's video? The point of today's video is don't put your nose up in the air, Ooh. right? Don't be too highfalutin that a 1985 Minolta lens, autofocus, Sony A-mount is beneath you. Look at these photographs that I took today. On this $150 Sony A390 camera. This combination, remember, I love primes. Primes are the best, okay? because there's less glass, glass steals light and information. Zoom lenses have more glass than a prime, generally, okay? This video is all about grab yourself a camera, a digital camera that has a CCD sensor. Go on my channel, right? You can search for all the cameras that I've done videos on that have a CCD Kodachrome-like sensor, all right? Look up Olympus on my search engine. I have I have almost 200 videos. I have plenty. And some of the cameras are even less expensive than this Sony. Okay. So let me just check my notes that I went. I gave you everything. Uh, yeah, don't forget with an APS-C sensor, right? There's a crop factor. So this 50 kind of, sort of, turns into about a 75, about a 75 millimeter, small, tiny telephoto, right? And the 1.7 f-stop also changes, right? It's not really a 1.7, right? It changes a little bit, right? Upwards of two, f2, but who cares? Who cares? I shot this today wide open. I shot it at the highest ISO. I know it's a 14 megapixel camera. I know it's an APS-C size sensor, not full frame, ooh, or medium format, ooh, right? Look at the output of the street photographs I took today in Brooklyn. I hope you've been enjoying them. Remember, when it gets to a photograph, you could just hit pause on your phone or on your computer or your laptop or your iPad.
you can pause it and check it out. Okay. Uh, I think I went through everything I wanted to show you today. We went over everything. Remember, Sony A390. But the star of today's show is the Minolta Autofocus 50 millimeter 1.7 Maxim M A X X U M lens. We went to Brooklyn, New York, did some street photography. Always take a camera with you. You just never know. And remember, I'm the kind of photographer that says to everyone, even if your camera is a cell phone, that's okay. Listen to me carefully. As long as you get the image that you wanted, okay? Cell phone camera is okay. This professional photographer, this photo journalist gives you permission. You don't need it to use your cell phone as your camera. Because guess what? It is a camera. It's a digital camera. And they're only getting better and better and better. I've seen photographs from an Android or from an Apple phone, right? That just blow your socks off. The whole idea of this channel is to love the art of photography. Go capture that image. What I show you are tools. Just like a contractor that builds houses. He loves to go to tool shows, right? Home product shows to see what's out there. Yet when he goes back, he's picking up his hammer that he's had for 25 years. Come on and putting that tool belt on. That's all ratty. We are photographers. Our tools are cameras. And if that camera is a cell phone camera, so be it. It doesn't matter. As long as you're enjoying the art of photography, taking images and printing your best, posting them on social media. That's what this channel is all about. Christmas, it's right around the corner. If you want a digital camera, you want to buy it for yourself <laughs> as a gift to yourself, go do it. If you want to give the gift of a camera to somebody that you think might enjoy it and stop playing video games for a couple of hours a week, do it. This will keep you and you, my seniors out there, my gray haired seniors, you know damn well that grabbing a camera and driving or walking or taking the bus somewhere and taking a few steps and then coming home and put them on your computer and using free photo editing software, software like GIMP. Okay, you spend the whole day and you don't have to buy a printer, post them online or just email them to friends. Hey, look what I shot today. All right. Guys, it's been a pleasure. We've gone 17 minutes. That's long enough. I hope you enjoyed all the photographs from today in Brooklyn, New York. A little street photography with the Sony A390 and the Minolta 50 millimeter prime 1.7 autofocus lens. Have a great day. And don't forget, my 200th episode is coming up. Subscribe by clicking that red box. Thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.